all organized crime might be behind a rash of thefts from high end homes in Oakland County, it's frightening. At the very least, you sit up and pay attention. If you see something, say something. Gangs. The Oakland County Sheriff, Michael Bouchard, says are coming primarily from South America, basically casing and targeting high-end homes and neighborhoods, grabbing cash, jewelry, watches, precious metals, high-end purses and electronics. We estimate there are crews and operations all across the country in a pretty substantial number. Bouchard says the perps are getting into the country one of two ways, illegally crossing the southern border or using the visa waiver program and well, well here, outstaying their welcome and committing these crimes. Oftentimes, oh, 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 they purchase guys. fake identification and they begin their criminality. Yeah. Bouchard oh. says there have been 8 to 11 sorry, cases here, over a year's time in the county that fit the M.O. of what these gangs are allegedly doing, but couldn't talk about possible right. arrests. You know, Bouchard pointing the finger at Washington for oh. not working through the politics to secure the border and protect Americans. Was, uh, America is getting crushed with fentanyl, human trafficking, sure, terrorist sure, activity sure that bad. is a ticking time bomb in my opinion, and obviously transnational gangs that are now attacking uh, communities right here in Oakland County. Secure the border, yes, fix yeah. the immigration system, do your damn job. The message Friday, be vigilant, evaluate, upgrade, and test your security systems and report suspicious activity. Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News. Hold on, Z, hold on, Z, hold on, Z, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't you mute it. You mute it. All right. Oh, come this. So as you can see, guys, these migrants are not just in Chicago, they're in Detroit City. They they selling stuff and everything. And it's definitely getting crazy out here in the, you know, in, in so many cities and everywhere. As you guys know, too, you know, back in um, in Texas, you know, they just signed a bill, the governor just signed a bill about, you know, um, um, I think it was a bill of, um, of arresting, you know, if you, if, especially if you're an immigrant, um, they, they're, going to, they're going to arrest you. Um, and, and they started to, they started to step that up and everything, every day, too. So I don't know, you know, seeing the situation, maybe they, they need to pass these laws in Illinois and in Michigan, but it's definitely getting crazy. So I'm going to pass to you guys. I'm uh, sorry with you, Ronnie. Uh, what's your take about these um, uh, transnet, transnational migrants basically coming here, it's stealing in some of these cities that's in Metro Detroit. What's your take on it? See, the thing is, Trump spoke about this issue when he was on, pretty much when he was the president. And talking about how support how it's very important for us uh, to uh secure the border and a lot of people got upset at them because they were like oh uh how can you do that uh uh why are you doing that why are you spending tax to pay dollars to try to uh to, to um to pretty much patrol and to uh, to secure the border not only that but Tom also mentioned the same fact as the um a lot of people that's coming down here are criminals. People didn't believe him. They, they, they say Trump is a bad man. He don't know what exactly what he's talking about. But now, as people can see now, Hello? just because hey, Hello? Jordan, make sure you move to Mike. Move to Mike. Uh, at the same time, people Hello? understand that um the simple fact of how um uh, it's very it's so very important to we need to secure our borders because now it's allowing anybody just to walk in here and not not only that but doing harm to the American people. So this is a learning lesson for everybody. That would say as we continue to um, go on to election year, which is next year, 2024, we will be more careful on how to vote and make sure we, we elect someone into office that's going to make sure to protect the American people. But as of right now, the only thing you can do is, like I said, listen to the news, what they're saying, make sure you have um, security cameras, make sure you protect yourself. And not only that, if you see something, say something, because people that's coming into the land is becoming um look like they've become very dangerous. I don't know if it's stereotyping, but hey, we gotta take we gotta take care of ourselves, people. Go ahead, I can. So I wanna say shout out to Nidish, shout out to Fresh Sound Florida, Ken Dog, my brother from another mother. This is a delicate situation. And I'm going to speak very clearly, and I'm going to be very quick about this. I'm of an immigrant descent. 
My family's been here since the 60s. I benefited from democratic policies. Now, with that being said, the way we go about things, I could say I'm a bit conservative. You know, I work, I pay taxes. I when um I can't remember we being on government assistance. My parents and mother work a job. So with that being said, is this? You're trying to solve a problem. You're trying to solve a problem without properly vetting people coming into the country. Trump talked about this. Trump talked about this. Trump mentioned this. Trump says, hey, they're coming across the border. Hey, when they come here, they're going to cause problems. He predate this. How you doing, Bobby Bryant, the gorgeous, gorgeous young lady? So, so when we talk about this, you let so many come in and people are not getting vetted. What you think going to happen? Regular American people are going to get affected, and we are getting affected. People barely can find jobs now. Um, you, you know, you talking about using public assistance and stuff like that, and my heart is heavy. And I want to say that my heart is heavy because my parents are immigrants. We've been here since the 60s. I got to stress that into a fact. That's a different time in a different place. Right now, I'm a I'm a, I'm a born American, and I thank America for the opportunities that they give me. And we tell the children that's coming up under my family, even convinced the young ones to go to the army to die for this country, because they have filled our coffers up best thing you could do but now we have to care about americans if everyday average american who works hard is getting their houses ransacked by immigrants what do we do what about the black people in detroit how they gonna get jobs you're taking funding to make sure these people are okay we ain't even handled the black issue yet We need to handle that. Shout outs to um, Sherry Bryant. Go ahead. Yeah, I can't. I, mean, I hear you, man, 100% on this. Um, yeah, man, this, this is, this to me, this is getting out of control. This is definitely getting out of control. We already talked about this in the Chicago situation. Now, I mean, you know, we're out front of Michigan, instead of, uh, instead of Michigan, and as easy, you know, migrants are rock, are just going to high end of my mansions and stealing, stealing stuff and everything. I don't know why the the federal like the um, not I'm sorry not state but I don't know how you know the main streets te- uh, televisions are not looking at this you know like the CNN you know uh, NBC and, and all these other um, uh, bad words because like I said we just found this from like I said I just found this from in Metro Detroit area in Fox Two uh, Fox Two and everything and the thing is like why was not why is this not as big enough as when the TV knows the TV networks put as big as the migrants in Chicago and everything, because it's getting bad out here, yo. It's like you know, if it's not going, it's, if it's happening in Chicago and uh, Detroit, it might happen in Milwaukee, it might happen in Minneapolis, it might happen in Philly, you know, maybe, maybe New York, you know, all these big cities around and everything. And like I said, we need to find a way to really tackle on this. Because like I just said earlier, you know, the governor of, of, of Texas, you know, he just signed a, a bill about, you know, hey, you know, it looks suspicious, you know, we're going to, you know, we're going to go you get arrested and everything. Some people, some people might not disagree with it, but I, I kind of agree with it because, you know, some of these immigrants is really, really getting out of control out here. It's getting highly controlled right here. You know, before I was like, nah, it's okay, you know, but the thing is, when it comes to jobs, you know, getting jobs, you know, especially in our community, uh, how, you know, it's affecting our black community. I'm not, I'm not getting jobs and everything. And the thing is, it's like, you, 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 you don't, you don't, you don't look at this problem. It's like, it's like with the government, they look at this as a very little problem. But the thing is, it's like, it's going to keep escalating and escalating and escalating to be a big main problem. I don't know if the government is leading um, tell them, you know, this, this, the uh, state governors around, you know, around United States of America to, you know, make their own laws about this. But we definitely need to get, uh, get this uh, handle handle control because, you know, it should be like a better process and everything before we come to come here and everything, 
you know, pro comes to America and everything. Because it's, it's just wrong. It's like, you know, they're, if you take the people from, what's it, Columbia, or, or Columbia, you know, flying them out here or putting them in trains or putting them in buses, and then you drop them off, you know, here in Texas and some states, and then you move them to other states, uh, Midwest states like uh, Illinois and, uh, and Michigan. And 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 it, and, it, and it's it, and it's becoming a big big problem, man. I just I just hope as we talk about this and other people talk about this that have channels like this to really really push it out there because it's 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 like I say it's it starts to affect especially in our communities. Even though it's not being talked about enough, it's really going to start to affect our communities. And if we don't fix this as as immediately as we can, it's it's definitely going to be chaos. I can definitely see some type of chaos going on. For sure. No, but uh, Jordan, it is a van process. The problem is they come in here in, in the United States mm -hmm. legally. That's the issue. Mm -hmm. But there is a van process. For any immigrants that try to come in the United States, remember there's a process. You have to you um uh, they remember they gotta create you. A lot of people a lot of these immigrants, remember they come in here, remember they don't have social security social security card, they don't have no form of uh, identification. So that why I say they can easily do crime because there's no way for you to identify them. That's why in Detroit they say, Hey, if you see something let us know and, and pretty much report it so we can do so we can do the necessary process to get them out of here now united states is the only state the only pretty much country that's allowing people to come over the border you can't do that in colombia you can't do that in brazil you can't do that definitely can't do that in china or in russia because they're gonna really shut you down before you even cross over and i know and even in canada they have you already know, a thin line when it comes to things like that so Woo! that would say we just allow anybody to come in here freely and then people under, then people get upset why the crime rate is so high why certain crimes not being identified because some of the people that's in here are in here illegally are the one doing the crime it's not your local neighbor it's someone that doesn't even belong in the country go ahead Hakeem. brother i 100 percent agree with you but i want to come from a black perspective chicago detroit oh. Indiana, Miami, people was already saying, we got enough of them here already. You want more to come? We barely could take care of the ones we got here. Not only that, what about the brothers who've been here? We ain't even getting them straightened out. <clears throat> so now, we already dealing with crime issue and then a rapid gang issue that's going on. Now we got international gangs. What's, and you know, once crime starts to elevate after a while, it just starts with petty theft, moves up the burglary. Then it starts to people jumping out of whips, flashing the blink. Then they start taking stuff. And when you don't start giving it up, you know what I mean? They, they start blowing it, blowing things down. So I'm saying, I'm pleading to, to government Biden. We need a stricter vetting process, baby. You need to go with the countries that these people are coming from to see if they've been arrested over there. See if they have any affiliations. I know that's tough. I know that's tough because I know people are running away from from all types of stuff. But things here are not things here or I don't know, man. When I, when I hear that, it just hurts my heart. Detroit already got an issue. We need to make sure the brothers are taken care of first. <clears throat> The unemployment rate is bad. The crime rate is off the chain. Let's not forget Flint and all the other surrounding places. Let's take care of the brothers first. Take care of the brothers first. Let's make sure the brothers are okay. And then we can worry about that. And then ask the brothers if they're okay letting a bunch of people come in. Because you know what's going to happen when foreigners come in. They create their own ecosystem amongst the brothers and they profit from the brothers and the brothers can't profit from them. Look at the Arabs. No disrespect to them. They live in, they live in Michigan. They took a whole city for themselves. They're the main corner store business owners in Detroit. Don't act like I don't know. Minnesota, same thing. The Arabs, the Ethiopians, the Somalians, <coughs> I've been to these places, St. Paul, Minneapolis. I see who the business owners is and the way they treat them. But the brothers are still suffering there. They can't eat. They can't get, you know what I mean? They're showing up when the brothers got a business. Y'all don't patronize them. So now you're going to get more people to come 
get business loans to open up businesses in your hood. On top of that, they ran shack in the place. Go ahead. And think about it, I have a question for it. For the, I don't know if it's a Democrat thing or a president thing, whatever. Why do we got to help so many people out and not help your own? I don't get that. We got to go help. Uh, uh, we got to go help everybody. Everybody. Oh, let's go help um, Ukraine. Let's go bring out the migrants from, from, from Colombia. Let's go help them out and everything. How do we gotta? We always gotta help everybody out. It's like well, we got it. We just make sure, like I said, as long, as long as our, our our American people paying the taxes, we got the money and everything. No, as you can see, our economy is 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 breaking down into problems, man. The house and housing market, you know, you know, if, if inflation, everything is going up, and it's like, oh, the Americans are fine. We they just raise the taxes up. We'll, we'll be okay. People are struggling out here. And now with this migrants, this inter, uh, international migrants are uh, coming here and, and, just, and, and just trying to try to take stuff and breaking in people's houses and everything. That's, it's a problem. I just don't get, I don't think it's a Democratic thing. Like they gotta help everybody else, but they don't wanna help their own. Yeah, we, we're calling for help. You know, we need some stuff that needs to be done, especially in our black community, but they don't wanna hear anything. It's like we say somebody that goes out one ear, it goes out the other ear. No, that's facts. And the that's thing facts. is like, and the thing is like, I know Joe Biden know about this, but we just focus on how to help other countries. How we like I said, we could we can help you guys out and hopefully they can come over here and we can make you know, you know, they come over here and then I think it's like I said, they try to help more people here so they come over here and say so they continue to pay taxes for the government. That's I think that's one of the runner races. But the thing is it's like when, like I said, I guess with Donald Trump, Donald Trump was here saying, no, man, we need to build these walls. It's like, it's, 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 it's going to get worse. The wall's going you, up. And you can see right now, yeah, and now you can see right now, it, it got, it got four, four years later when Trump was going off, it's now, it's, it's now, it's, now it's bad. And it's only going to get worse if we don't fix the stress problem. I just shout see out, Shout out to Damian Cox. Shout out to you, brother. Shout out yeah. to D-Source. 